Hello, everyone. It's been two weeks since my last video update, and I have some fantastic news to share. Our new permanent full time physician for Roanoke Island, Dr. David Worthen, worked his first day at Manio County Medicine this past Wednesday. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Worthen. A brief bio, including a picture of Dr. Worthen, is posted along with this video. I want to thank our team members who have worked hard over the last two weeks to place more than 1,500 patients on the wait list to establish care with Dr. Worthen or Dr. Aaron Baker, who will join us at the end of October. We received more than 1,000 calls the first day that the wait list was activated, and the calls are now trickling in with a rate of less than 20 per day. The number will remain exclusive for individuals who are formerly patients at Manio Family Medicine until Monday, August 8th. On August 8th, the number will be republished to the general public for access to primary care for all local residents. While we work the phone lines to create the wait list, I've also been receiving updates from our team members at Manio Family Medicine who are orienting Dr. Worthen and preparing to start calling people on the wait list to reinstate them as patients. Still, as I had mentioned before, the process will take several months. Again, thank you to the Outer Banks Hospital and medical group team members who are helping patients join the wait list and ultimately access primary care close to home. A few weeks ago, I also mentioned that we're exploring options to expand care on Roanoke Island. I am pleased to announce that we're working with Dr. Walter Holton to secure property adjacent to Manu Family Medicine to build a 2,500 square foot addition to the existing property. We will also renovate the existing building and property. This expansion will accommodate additional primary care providers and give us the ability to grow as Roanoke Island's population grows. Work is already underway with civil engineers and architects, and I look forward to reaching out to the town of Manio and Dare County in the very near future to begin the permitting process so that we can get construction underway. I've also shared that Mr. Chris Handren is leaving Manio Family Medicine to relocate closer to family. I am posting the letter he sent to his patients here. While I won't continue to post every letter we send on this topic forever, I think it is important to publish as much as we can until we all feel like we're in a better place with access to primary care and other essential services. Like most other industries and businesses, we are rebounding from a chaotic time. As we rebound, I will continue to communicate new information as is available because I believe it helps us all feel better to be informed given the uncertainty that is very real in our world right now. I'll also continue to provide updates on impacts countywide, as we are committed to providing high quality care to every resident and visitor of their county, from Stumpton Point to Duck to Hatteras Island and beyond. One such update I have is for women in our community. Dr. Robin Dillard, board certified OBGYN physician, was joined Outer Banks Women's Care late summer and early fall. Dr. Dillard's arrival was perfect timing as Dr. Dan Dwyer transitions to providing patient care one day a week in the practice and assumes his new physician leader role of Regional Medical Director of Medical Affairs for ECU Health. Congratulations to Dr. Dwyer for assuming this new leadership role. I can tell you firsthand that he is already influencing provider recruitment, retention, and clinical care at a local and regional level. We are fortunate to have him leading in this way while still caring for patients in our community. On the oncology front, I am pleased to announce the arrival of doctoral prepared nurse practitioner, Katie Caton. A brief bio, including a picture of Ms. Caton is posted along with this video. Katie joins us with more than 18 years of oncology and palliative care experience, and the most recent role being that of advanced practice clinician lead at Centera's Brock Cancer Center in Norfolk, Virginia. Please join me in welcoming Katie as we continue to recruit a full-time permanent oncologist to replace Dr. Gunther. As for Dr. Terry Berry's full-time replacement at Kitty Hall Family Medicine, recruitment efforts continue there as well. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts. Although it may be a few weeks before I post another update, please be assured that we are working tirelessly to recruit providers and healthcare workers to continue to provide high quality health care. As soon as we have new information to share, I'll provide an update. In the meantime, I hope you're enjoying a healthy and safe summer.